What's up, YouTube? It is Tom Time and it is Tammy. Thanks for joining me for episode three. This is Monday's workout. Uh, we worked more on accessory work. 20 meters each arm kettlebell P carry. That's what it's called. We also worked on ring dips and 20 meter plate pinch carry. As for the ring dips, as you can tell, my arms are a little bit further away from my body, but I was working more on ring holds uh, since I'm not there yet with my ring dips. As for the wad, um, go ahead and check the YouTube description with the uh, full length of the wad. But um, I, I want to talk more about this because um, it was a killer workout. Um, there's not a lot of workouts that make me feel really lightheaded. And <laughs> this one actually made me feel lightheaded after the workout. Um, and I drink a lot of water. Um, my nutrition wasn't that bad um, on July 4th. Um, it was actually pretty good. It's just this workout was pretty challenging for me. Um, we did uh, a lot of deadlifts. I did uh, the deadlift that weight that I did was at 125 pounds. Um, we did burpee over bar. And in my case, I did a uh, jumping uh, chest to bar. And so... Um, it was a really great workout. Um, I really recommend you guys do it if you have the time. And right here you see me do Tuesday's workout. We worked on back squats and dubs for part A. Um, I still struggle a lot on my dubs. Um, I'm working on it. And as you can tell, my toes aren't pointed down like they should be. Um, so that's a flaw and I'm still working on it. And uh, the first set that you saw, I was uh, 135 pounds. Um, and so we built to the weight to work uh, four to five sets on our back squat, 70 to 80%. And this is um, 145 pounds. Um, and actually that this was like around 75% for me. This, I was um, actually really excited about. This is Thursday's workout. I love Oli, as everyone knows, um, and I favor the high hang position the most. Um, it's the position where I, I try to quote unquote master first before I started learning cleans um, off from the ground, and I still favor it, and I PR'd. I PR'd uh, 125 pounds at three reps. I was very low key about it. 125. I've done 125 before, but at one rep, and that was a struggle. But I wish that I um, tried 130, but we ran out of time. Now for the actual wad, um, this was a brutal, brutal wad. Um, it was for time, 20, 2015, 10, 5, and in between. Uh, each set you would do a 20, 150, uh, I believe 250 meter row. And honestly, I, I had it in my head that I was going to break this up um, in increments of five because I was just really careful about my shoulder. And um, yeah, this clip is a little bit long because I wanted to talk about this uh, a little bit more. Um, and I, I know I sound like a broken record, but I've had a lot of shoulder issues in the, in the past. And for me to be able to do anything shoulder to overhead or even overhead squats is such a blessing. And so, um, I felt great. I felt great. I didn't feel any pain. And instead of breaking any, everything up, uh, uh with my original plan, I wound up doing, um, all, all the reps unbroken. So 20, 15, 10, 5, I did it all unbroken. 20 was very tough. I had to pause at certain times, like in, in the set of 10 right now, you'll see me pause for a little bit um, to catch my breath. But other than that, like I, I did it. And again, you don't know if you don't try, right? If you feel good, just go for it. And that's how I felt. And that was my MO. If there was any pain, clearly I would have stopped. And, um, and for me, I knew if I reached some sort of breaking point, um, like say set of eight or, 
or my eighth rep or ninth rep, I, I would have stopped, but I just felt so good. And the RX weight was 55 pounds, which is what you see uh, right there. And I'm just so blessed to be able to do that. And then you see me do a uh, low box step ups. It's actually supposed to be 20 inches, but I hurt my Achilles a few weeks ago and it scared the living crap out of me. So um, it's a mental game right now. So I'm, I'm slowly building back up to that 20 inch box jump again. And here's the 250 meter row in between each sets. And I waved my hands up, so that was the last row. And here um, is Friday's workout. And my coach told me, he's like, Tammy, you're just going to love this workout. And I did. I, I love these types of workouts. I love all sorts of anything that's jerk, cleans, snatches. It's all my jam. Even if I can't do, do snatches really well or jerks really well, I just love the movements. It's, it's seriously my jam. So here... I did a split jerk, but I didn't drop um, drop under the bar, or actually I should use the more, um, uh, the more appropriate phrase, um, pulling myself under. <laughs> and I, I always have trouble sometimes, or I have trouble pulling myself under a lot. And so that's something that my coach and I were, were working on. So I I work on the weekends on my only thing uh, only movements uh, especially the jerk or anything overhead that um, I pull myself under um, even on cleans too I sometimes I catch it at the power clean position when it's supposed to be a full clean so um, something that I'm I'm totally working on. I wound up finishing a uh, part A on this fr heavy front squat and 10 second pause in between for that jerk. I wound up finishing around 90 pounds. I didn't feel 100%. I was very sore. I listened to my body. Um, and Friday, Friday was just a day for me just to move. Uh, so, and moving I did. <laughs> I didn't go too heavy. And honestly, if it... If I was 100%, I probably would have reached 100 to 105 anyway. So I came a little pretty close, you know, at 90 pounds, which I was perfectly happy about. And now um, the actual wad, um, check this wad out in the YouTube description. It's one of my favorite workouts. Um, it did burn me out, but I didn't feel lightheaded like I did. Um, uh, on um, Monday's uh, workout, but it was super fun, very challenging, and um, I really recommend everyone doing this workout. It's really fun. Um, my lats have been sore for the past two days, so I actually didn't work on any only stuff on Saturday that I normally would because my lats were truly burnt out. And of course, I listened to my body and just recovered that day and did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Which everyone teases me about that I don't, I, I don't rest enough, but um, I, I do. I promise I do, you guys. So um, this is uh, the weight that I used throughout this whole entire one as, um, as it was written, 40 to 50% of part A. So half of 90 pounds of my jerk, I wound up doing 45 pounds on all of my cleans and deadlifts. It felt weird because it was a lightweight. And honestly, it doesn't matter anyways. If you went slow, it hurts. If you went fast, it hurts. Even if you have a light weight like I did, it still hurts. <laughs> the, I mean, hurts meaning burn, but um, it, it was a great uh, workout and I clearly enjoyed it. So um, so if you like this uh, video, please like and subscribe. Um, I love talking about my CrossFit journey. So um, that's it. Thank you, you guys. Bye.